Yeah, I can't say howdy. No one says howdy in Nashville. <laughs> howdy, everybody. Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee. Hi, we're at Soho House in Nashville, and this is In Bed with Karen Elson. I'm in bed at the Soho House with a glass of champagne. Life could not be better. Nashville is a very creative city. Music, food, literature, art. There's a real strong cross-pollination between all things. Like in LA, everybody's an actor. In Nashville, everybody's a closet musician. Dolly Parton would be a dream date for Nashville Soho House just because I'd love to pick her brain. Jolene, 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 Jolene. With flaming locks of auburn hair. Auburn hair, I can't say it, auburn, auburn, auburn. I don't even fucking know what a honky tonk is, sorry. <laughs> I guess Roberts is a honky tonk. But you're gonna go in there, you're gonna listen to some good country music, you're gonna see some people doing a little two-step shuffle somewhere, there's gonna be some shots of tequila that's happening, there's gonna be some crass conversation, and you're gonna leave that bar wasted. So there's a lot of misconceptions about Nashville. Everybody's walking around in like cowboy boots and we've all got our plaid shirts on and we're just all like, hey y'all, how are you? Sweet old southern lady who's gonna make you biscuits and you're gonna eat some really good fried chicken, which there's definitely a little bit of that when you get downtown, but it's not Nashville. Nashville's booming culinary scene is the most exciting part for me about Nashville. I'd say the Continental is up there. Um, I love Audrey, Bastion. They're at a level that if you're coming to Nashville and you're not doing sort of a food experience, you're really missing out. Community is my extravagance. Like I love having people over to my home. I love creating a menu, making my house look gorgeous and entertaining. That is probably where I'm in my element. I'm a hostess with the mostess for sure. <laughs> I was just telling someone about this the other day. So I had a dream that I was on a boat and around the boat was a giant manatee. And everyone's like, go jump in and swim with the manatee. And I'm like, no. It was swimming on its back, sort of like flippers, like just very cute, but really surreal. When Soho House New York first opened, I felt like it became the sort of community hub for a lot of people, which I hope happens for Nashville as well, because a lot of creative things happen and a lot of connections are made, and that's the point. Well, I'm exhausted. Thank you for joining me at Soho House Nashville, and I hope to see you all very soon. <laughs> <laughs>